So let me get into what he had to say here. The article says, his former Nuggets coach, uh, George Carl, continued his remark, his trademark criticism of the Los Angeles Lakers on social media last night, launching a series of tweets against LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and the historic franchise. Tired of the constant media takes on the Cowboys and the Lakers, both organizations are barely relevant. They get so much coverage because they are highly valued with large fan bases, not because they are championship contending teams, exclamation. I'll give the Lakers coaching search committee free advice today. <laughs> LeBron isn't a superstar anymore and AD will never be one. Now, be sure to use those truths when evaluating candidates and you might select someone you keep for longer than two seasons. Woo. Wait, there's actually living people who believe LeBron is still a superstar today? Folks, George Carl woke up this morning or last night and said, you know what, folks? I want to smoke with everybody. Those are some scathing remarks. Let's break them down one by one. Let's talk about what he said about the Lakers and the Cowboys. As you guys know, the Cowboys have the moniker of America's team, right? I'm not a big football fan, but I know that the Cowboys are like the creme de la creme in terms of the marquee franchise in the NFL. Now, whether they deserve it or not, that's up for debate. I'm not here to debate that. But they're definitely the most popular NBA, uh, uh, NFL team, and I think the most pop, the most, the, I think the Dallas Cowboys are the uh, are the, the, the they're the richest sport team in the in the entire world. They're the most valuable team in the world. That includes soccer teams, uh, basketball teams, other teams. Is the Dallas Cowboys? They're number one, and with that comes a huge fan base, which means that they're going to be talking about them. You need to go no further than look at Skip Bayless. When Skip Bayless, especially when he was with Shannon Sharp, every single week, every single week, he found a reason to talk about the Dallas Cowboys. Let's move to the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers, on the other hand, have had more success as of recent than the Dallas Cowboys. In the last, what, 20 years, the Lakers have won six championships. They won one, one or three, excuse me, with Shaq and Kobe. Then they won two with Kobe. And then they won one more with LeBron James in 2020. So in the last six year, uh, 20 years, they've won six championships. So the Lakers, in terms of relevancy, in terms of winning championships, they are more relevant than the Dallas Cowboys, if we're just being honest. Now, to George Carl's point of them always talking about them. Listen, he makes a good point. If we're being honest, the team that should be discussed the most is in from our NBA team, it should be the Golden State Warriors because they have the most recent uh dynasty in the NBA, right? And they're the most valuable team uh in the NBA, if I'm not yes, they are. I think worth about seven billion or some 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 amount like that. Uh, but nevertheless, they don't I don't think they have the fan base of the Los Angeles Lakers because the Lakers are one of the cornerstone franchises in 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 uh in, in the NBA. So they have fans that have been there for decades and decades with some of the greatest players to ever play for that team. Like Magic Johnson, James Worthy, Jerry West, Will Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, LeBron James, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on of all of these great players. So the Lakers have a very rich history. But as of recent, they've not been doing very well. Although the year prior, they went to the Western Conference Finals, but overall, they haven't been a very good team with the exception of that 2020 campaign where they won the championship. Now, he then, he then took it a step further where he then essentially said, LeBron isn't a superstar anymore. Well, it's funny that George Carl is saying this because I was just having this very same thought. I think it was yesterday or the day before that. And I was asking myself, is LeBron a top 10 player? Because I know he's not a top five player, but is he a top 10 player? Then I was going through the list of players who are in the top five. Luca, no particular order. Luca, uh, SGA, um, 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 Joel Embiid, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Nikola Jokic. Then you have Jason Tatum. You have, uh, 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 I would definitely 